What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nathan and on this planet we send it. What we're going to be doing in this project is go ahead and be removing my popcorn ceiling, installing some recessed lighting, and then also a ceiling fan. Now I was intending for this to be a, just a one part show and that was it, but it's actually going to end up being two parts. It's going to be in this particular episode I'm going to go ahead and remove the popcorn ceiling and paint the ceiling uh, and, and get everything ready for wiring. And then we're going to go ahead and pick up with the wiring on the next one. So uh, just to be upfront, um, I'll have this one out. Uh, should this, this video should be hitting on Tuesday. And then the next one will be out um, the just that immediate Friday because it's, it's almost done. It's just when I was editing everything, it was just too long. But without further ado, let's go ahead and send it. All right. First step before you even do anything really is clean the room. As you can hear, probably by the echo. And as you can see, I've removed everything, including the closet doors. What I'm going to first do is I'm going to go ahead and wet the popcorn ceiling and allow it to soak in for about like 10 minutes. And I'm going to do roughly 5 by 5 feet. Uh, since this is a 10 by 10 feet, I'm actually going to do roughly 5 feet squared. And uh, each corner with the exception of the first one, I'm also going to do the closet over there too. So I'm going to let it soak for about 10 minutes uh, and then I'm going to come back. I'm then going to do another section, soak it up. While, uh, and then while that's soaking, I'll be removing the popcorn um, from the first area that I soaked and then just keep going around uh, into the different quadrants. All right, let's go ahead and send it. All right, I want to show you guys two things here, or mention two things, I should say. Number one, if you are living in a place to where your house was built like in the 70s, you may want to test for asbestos um, when before removing this. Um, however, it's obvious to me now, and I couldn't tell at least at first, this side is not painted. This side is painted. So this side is more than likely gonna give me a little bit more problem. Um, so I'm probably gonna uh, let it soak in just for a little bit longer um, before I do this side. All right, I'm all set up here. I got my stool because I'm vertically challenged, cannot reach the eight foot ceiling standing on the floor. And I have a scraper that I'm gonna basically be attempting to go at a low grazing angle to go ahead and remove the popcorn ceiling without removing the drywall. And this time I'm gonna attempt to catch it in the dustpan and just throw it right into the trash can. Last time I just put it all, sent it all to the floor on another room that I did. And it does clean up pretty easily, but I'm gonna try to save me just a little bit of time by catching it and dumping it right into the trash can. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and send it. Ask the question, then you said it. Always saying things you're regretting. Can't erase the steps we're taking. Can't go back. To the time and place we met I was so upset But you made it all better Now it's messing with my head, yeah We don't say goodbye the best I still feel your ghost inside my chest No, we didn't learn our lesson But if you want, can we try again? All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean this all up off camera. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mark off Originally, since this was a 10 by 10, I was going to basically be putting in the can lights, the four of them, into the corners, basically uh, two and a half feet into the corner. But it looks like I'm probably going to have to skew that a little bit. So I'm going to go up there and mark everything. And then depending on where they lie on the rafters above, I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe have to adjust some of them before I go ahead and cut the hole. So I'll go ahead and show you where I end up prior to go ahead and cutting. All right, I'll see you in a second. All right, so I want to show you this real fast before I cut. This, uh, this mark right there was exactly two and a half feet in by two and a half feet squared from the corners of my room. But as you can see, it's 
real close to the rafter above and I believe this is some sort of support structure there. And so what I did is I moved everything about four and a half inches in on this one and let me bring you over to the other side. This is along the same plane here. They, they both share this, they both share this uh, rafter right there. Uh, since there wasn't another support structure close to this one, all I had to do was move it about four or four and a half inches away from that one to give it space. And then on the other side, this one was lying just a little too close to that support structure. And so what I did is I moved it about four or four and a half inches this way. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do off camera, let me go back to uh, normal, whoops. Let me go back to normal so you can see all these white specks and everything over here. I'm gonna go ahead and sand this and then I'm gonna go buy everything that I need to get to finish up the project. Um, but first I kinda wanna clean this all up. Uh, and so they, everything's ready for paint once I get back. All right, I went ahead and vacuumed again, and so to get all the dust off. Now, the next thing what I'm gonna do is at each of these uh, holes, I'm gonna drill the pilot hole first, go into the attic, cause that's the space above this room, and I'm gonna go ahead and just double check that the hole is definitely in a place where I want it, and that way I don't make a big five and a quarter inch cut in preparation for the, uh, in preparation for the can lights. And then, uh, you know, I have a lot bigger hole to fill than just a, a small quarter inch or whatever. All right, I'll show you here in a second. All right, so I went ahead and I verified that all these holes are good to go. I can go ahead and drill the larger holes for the can lights. And I just wanted to highlight that this section right there was not structural. So I can, if I want to, go ahead and move it back to its original place. But I'm gonna choose not to, just because where these holes are in relation to the wall is not where most of the, let's just say, living is. And so it'd be better to have the lights a little bit more skewed that way. Um, and it's only a few inches, so I don't really think it's gonna make that much a big of a deal. But in its relation and where the door is, I don't really need to illuminate the people as they come in. So having it skewed a little bit further away from the door is better. So I wanted to highlight something right here. Here you can see that the directions tell you that the holes, the diameter should not exceed six and a quarter inches. Well, I set my jig up to cut at six and a quarter, and it's actually cutting just inside there. So make sure when you're testing things out, I'm going to go ahead and set this to six and a half real fast. I set it to six and a half, and it's going just outside. And with this rubber, um, with this rubber section around here, it's going to go ahead and squeeze in just fine. So just pay attention. Although it says six and a quarter, just double check it. You may have to go uh, to the next size bigger in order for these to fit. What you just saw me measuring out was the center for where I want to put a ceiling fan. And if you can see where that circle is, I'm like right next to the rafter. So what I'm going to do is, let me show you, well, I'm going to go and uh, basically make sure that uh, my remodeling bracket for the fan will fit in between there. Let me show you what I'm talking about real fast. So this is what I'm using. I'm using a remodel bracket to support ceiling fan. And I'm ex this appears to be 24 on center. So what I'm going to be doing, so I can see I can only do up to 50 pounds. So it's a small room. It's not going to be a big fan, so no big deal. But I'm trying to make sure that this, so I'm about to go upstairs and make sure that this will fit. And this, this piece comes off, so I know I can, as I drop it down. <laughs> this piece comes off, and I know I can slide it all the way down to the end. So let's go back over here. So I may have to skew it just slightly in order to get it in there. It looks like it'll fit, um, but I'm going to skew it over just a little bit extra. So it won't be dead perfect center, but it's going to be just within a few inches. So that's good enough for me.
Not sure how well you can see that, but it, I am right up next to the rafter. So thank goodness these things are adjustable. That's all the holes that I got to cut. So just to give you an idea of how much a 10 by 10 popcorn ceiling that basically filled this uh, 20 gallon trash can. All right, so I've been at it for about four and a half hours so far. I actually had all the popcorn sealing and everything off in about two hours. That includes moving everything out. So it was going pretty fast, but it might definitely started getting a time sink, doing the measurements, double checking, making sure I wasn't going into anywhere where I didn't want to be prior to drilling. And then uh, at least doing the pilot hole first and then double checking. And then the trip to Home Depot definitely was a time sink. So I'm at the point now where I think I need to make a decision. I don't think I'm going to be wiring things up tonight because I'm not a licensed electrician and I don't want to be up in the dark uh, playing around with things. So the good thing is, is at least I'm going to should be able to get everything painted tonight and then go ahead and uh, that'll help me get everything moved back in here tonight. And then also I should be able to get all the holes filled with the lights and then the ceiling fan fixture. So then um, what you're not seeing is I can go ahead uh, and at least have everything ready for wiring when I get back at it tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow if it's not too cloudy of a day or too dark by the time I get home. But anyways, all right, let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and lay down the, I'm going to lay down the, the, the drop cloth and, and, and preparations for paint because that does paint does not come up easily as a matter of fact it doesn't come up really at all um so i'm going to go ahead and uh, put everything down we're going to go ahead and prime it and then we're going to paint it all right let's send it all right so before we begin connecting everything and painting i want to at least talk about some of the equipment that i have i've already shown you the fan outlet that i'm going to be installing for the light fixtures i'm using a commercial electric six inch recessed down lighting it's actually a six pack from home depot it's made for new construction although i'm technically not doing new construction it's more of a retrofit since i have access to the attic i can go ahead and use these fittings this is an airtight housing that is designed to be in direct contact with insulation um, it's pretty easy once you get it up there you just basically use these um, fast nails and hammer them right in um, and they are thermally protected and compatible with the wall dimmer so that's why i went ahead and got these now for the paint I went ahead and got the Kills PVA, or the uh, drywall primer slash sealer, so it doesn't suck up, so the paint uh, doesn't, the drywall doesn't suck up all the liquid from the paint and allows it to dry correctly. And then I'm going pretty generic. I'm using an Ultra Pure White 7450 uh, top, and that's just because I do anticipate why... Uh, I don't know how in the near future, but I do anticipate we're going to paint uh, and actually add some color to this room. But in the, And so I want to be able to um, have a neutral color so we can easily just paint over it. So that's why I'm just going with white. All right, now let's go ahead and send it. Alright, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I know to a certain degree I kind of left it as sort of a little cliffhanger on what it's going to look like. And I'll, I'll just sort of uh, be up front. The reason why I chose to split it where I'm splitting it is because the next video is going to be full of lots of lessons learned when doing it DIY um, on a variety of things. So I just wanted to kind of found it. I thought this would be just the best place to go ahead and end it and get ready for the next one. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be putting out the next one just in three days. It'll be published published on Friday so you'll get to see it so you won't have to wait too long but anyways thank you for watching I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you on the next one